It was also an emotional day for Philip Chisholm's mother. Before the sentencing, she issued a statement. She said words cannot express the amount of pain and sorrow these past two and a half years have been. However, there is no one who has suffered more than the Ritzer family. My utmost esteem, prayers, and humble respect is with them today as they continue their journey to heal. Colleen Ritzer's family says today's sentence is a disgrace, calling the court out for what they feel was too light of a sentence. Louisa Moeller is live for us in Salem as well tonight with more from Colleen's family. Louisa? Well, Paula David, Colleen Ritzer's father likened Chisholm's eligibility for parole to cruel and unusual punishment for those who knew and love his daughter. Betrayal and devastation. Just some of the emotions for Colleen Ritzer's family at news that their daughter's killer is eligible for parole after 40 years behind bars. Although this individual parole amounts to cruel and unusual punishment for Colleen's loved ones, the notion of second chance should not be applicable in this case. Due to the intentional and thoroughly planned actions of this individual, Colleen cannot, Colleen cannot be provided a second chance, and neither should the individual who callously and without remorse took her life. In 2013, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court decided that juveniles cannot be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Peggy and Tom Ritzer say that sentences them to a life of pain and inevitable parole hearings that could last years. The journey to ensure justice for Colleen has just begun. Because of the SJC restrictions, our family will be forced to attend parole hearings beginning in 38 years which is simply unimaginable to us. Both saying they hope the governor and legislature will do something to prevent future pain for the families of other victims. Now, once again, Philip Chisholm was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after serving 40 years and the possibility of parole every five years after that. Live in Salem, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. David. All right.